okay guys this is going to be a very quick um energy update on the divine masculine so what we've got we've got is boundaries is this really the end spirit says they may have let you down but you will never be forsaken by god you've been ghosted take a good look at the people around you third eye and then we've got bad choices in life this is at the bottom of the deck so right now divine feminine you as much as you love your dm you've got no choice but to set these boundaries up in order to make sure that you are protecting yourself energetically emotionally and physically and spiritually okay this is really really important and the reason what, why I said that is because the Divine Masculine knows that there's a very big difference in, in, in a change within you. It's unspoken words. And um, what they're really questioning now, is this really the end? I also pick this up as the ending of a very tough cycle that you both have actually gone through more so the divine masculine um could be at the moment of just really getting out of the tower moment that they were in that they practically um found themselves seduced into or for some actually created it themselves okay so they are actually coming out from this energy of like is it really the end is it really over am i really free but also, on the other hand, is, is it really over between us, Divine Feminine? And what Spirit says to the Divine Feminine is that they may have let you down, but you will never be forsaken by God. And I know that, you know, for the Feminines out there, with the amount of pain and heartbreak that you guys went through when you were treated the way how you were by your DM, the things that you saw, the people around you. You may have come from a very traumatic childhood. Your upbringing was not great. Everybody let you down. Everybody lied to you. Even though you was trying to attract in love and honest people, you were somehow getting a lot of energy vampires because of your light thing is, when you're a child of the light, it makes you more vulnerable um, because of your innocence, okay? Um, and what's happened here is that obviously, as you got older, life threw you a lot of curveballs for you to actually, you know, unfortunately be hit by many of them. But then as you got older, you learned how to dodge them and counteract these attacks. So you know that you've been ghosted in the past, where they never spoke to you, they never responded to your messages or your DMs to them, um, if you was using um, social media of some kind. Um, you never got used to it, you never liked it. Nobody does. It's such, um, I find this to be that a very cowardly way, but then, at the same time, you really don't know of the situation that the Divine Masculine was also going through as well. And that's where a lot of misunderstandings have taken place. Um, and in certain cases, the DMs really felt that instead of lying to you, Divine Feminine, it's better for me not to say nothing at all. I love you too much to lie to you, but at the same time, I can't tell you what's going on. This intense energy is just... It's crushing me. It's crushing my heart. I'm not used to this vibe. I don't know how I got myself into this mess and et cetera, et cetera. So there's just so many different reasons and things that's going on with this situation of why you were ghosted. But the thing is where you've now come towards the ending of the journey, because I feel right now, Divine Feminine, you are really at a place of peace within yourself and that you know that you can very well live without your divine masculine and so and 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 just be at peace within yourself and love him or her from a very safe distance whilst you carry on with your spiritual journey 
This is what the Divine Masculine has to do. If you do decide right now, I mean, whatever the outcome is going to be for you guys, this is literally about them needing to take a good look at the people around him. And you're also doing the same thing for yourself as well, Divine Feminine. You're really creating these boundaries. And what I love the most is that the boundaries is the first card that came up. And then it ends with this third eye. I mean, this is just really a beautiful ring of protection. Because of all these bad choices that were made in life from both of you at some point, at some stage in your life. And I feel that at the same time, it was like, no, enough is enough. I can't continue to live my life full of dramas and episodes of when the police might come knocking on the door or you might get these people that's watching you or stalking you or, or being very violent towards you, threatening you and everything like that. That's not what it's about. You don't want that anymore. Enough is enough. And if it means relocating somewhere else to be at peace, then this is what's going to happen. But this this is a life lesson, realizing that the choices that you made were not good. All right. So, guys, this is what I've got for you. This is just a quick energy update. As I said, I will be um, putting up a reading um, later on this morning. Um, I did one. Um, I got a download, which is quite. Yeah. Um, it's to do with Archangel Michael. So I was hesitant of whether or not to put it up, but it's as if like I'm I'm yeah, it's okay to do that, to to put it up. All right. Sorry guys, it's just kind of early in the morning and I just wanted to give you this energy update from what's happening with the divine masculine. So I'm so happy to see and relieved as well that this journey, this this cycle has really come to an end. It feels like the energies are lifting up and a little bit more um, smoothed out slightly. There's a lot of healing now that's going to take place, as well as a lot of conversations, honest conversations. Guys, please speak from the heart, okay? Um, it's so important. Okay, guys, this is what I've got for you. Take care of yourselves. I'll be back with another reading. Peace out.